it going guys, Jesse here from Third Person. Uh, excuse the delay in this video, but this time we're going over issue 159 of The Walking Dead entitled The Whisperer War Part 3. Now, this time I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I did last time, I'm not just going to go through it, I'm going to recap it a little bit. So we start off this time, and uh, pretty much immediately after, Negan fights Beta, uh, big moment, Lucille breaks. Uh, for those of you who, for some reason, don't remember Lucille's Negan's baseball bat with the barbed wire. Um, a lot of fighting happens. Uh, Beta gets knocked out. They drag Beta, or the Whisperers drag Beta away. They try to remove his mask. He stabs one of them. Uh, the White and them follow the Whisperers through the crowd of walkers. And he kills one of them, takes their mask, and dons it. And that's where we leave off there. There's some stuff that happens elsewhere, but when I go through the comic, we'll see that. So let's hop right into it. So this is what I was talking about here. We pick up where we left off. Negan standing triumphantly over Beta. Starts smacking him. Beta fights back. All that good stuff. Then Dwight throws Beta, or, or throws Negan, uh, Lucille, and uh, it's a touching reunion. Fights Beta a little bit. Michonne and Jesus and all them fighting. <laughs> Negan comments that uh, Beta's too fast for a guy that big. Uh, starts wailing on him, wailing on him. And Lucille breaks. So, uh, that there, that shows you a little bit of Negan's like human side. Not really the psychopathic side. Although he still is a psychopath, and he does love an inanimate object more than he does humans. Um, <laughs> so, he goes into a fit, kind of like a child, and we get to see some good uh, panels here from Jesus, Dwight, Michonne, the rest of them. And, uh, yeah, the uh, whispers start retreating into the oncoming walkers. So, that should be good. Uh, let me switch here. And we get a nice big picture this time of walkers emerging from the tree. <laughs> and uh, Negan is uh, kind of pessimistic this time around. So, my bad. Uh, so, here's what I was talking about. They try to remove his mask and stabs him straight through the back of the mouth. Or back of the head. Yeah. Uh, passes back out. They don't try it again. Uh, pretty much straightforward here. We'll get a nice scene between, I believe her name's Lydia, if I remember correctly. She, she's not important to me. But she more or less tells Carl, hey, I'm not going to love you. This isn't love. Uh, don't confuse it for love. And he's like, I love you. She's like, I don't love you. Uh, a lot of teen crap. Get Eugene back in society here, making, uh, bullets and magazines and all sorts of stuff there. You get to see uh, Rick and Andrea have a nice touching moment. Uh, not Sherry, but um, Tara. She has a little bit of a um, little bit of a second thought about stealing the horse. And so does Sherry. But uh, John there doesn't want to give the horse back. Sophia observing Carl. It's all pretty much straightforward this week. Um, this is something good. William attacks Zachary and threatens to kill him, much like Zachary more or less threatened to kill him last time. And you get to see that not all is well in the kingdom, and William's doing what he needs to to keep it safe. More Walker stuff. He gets killed by Dwight. Dwight takes his mask, dons it, and that's the end of the comic. So, I know this video is going to run about five minutes, and I'm sorry for the quick run through and not feeling the best, but I'm getting over a little bit of sickness, and I don't feel optimal, but I feel good enough to do this video, get it out there to you. I did the recap in the beginning to stop all the unnecessary talking I did last time. Uh, but next time we'll go over issue 160, Whisper War Part 4. Uh, you can kind of see where this is going. <laughs>
Um, we were supposed to have Chris, uh, another co-host of Third Person on here. But, uh, scheduling, all that, couldn't get it done. But I want to thank you from myself and Third Person for watching these videos, leaving a like, comment, whatever you do. And I'll see you next time, and hopefully I'll have Chris. Goodbye.